Mm-hmm. Прям а, mm-hmm. Он не подключен как член совета, он может слушать, а может, mm-hmm. может быть, может нет. Yeah, мог бы и посетить. Только полномочный представитель Сергея Юрьевича. Светлана подготовила, да, в принципе, то есть открывать а, диссертационный совет, да, 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 это, соответственно, э, роль председателя получается, да, Генри Юрьевич. Окей. So today we have the dissertation council LFE 1.3.9.1 Uh, point one dedicated to the thesis defense of Atiyah, Ibrahim, Kasim, Kasim, wave process magnetic fields and non-linear structures in dusty plasma in the vicinity of the moon, on the process of magnetic pole, non-linear structure, Atiyah, Ibrahim, Kasim, Kasim, polyvoy plasma in the vicinity of the moon, submitted for the degree of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences in the speciality 1.3.9, physics of the plasma. So, Uh, the dissertation committee is here today, so the chairman of the committee is uh, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor Norman Henry Edgarovich. Uh, the deputy chairman of the dissertation council, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Gavrikov Andrei Vladimirovich, and the council members, Doctor of Technical Sciences, Vasiliev Mikhail Nikolaevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Hussein Zadena Mik, Hussein Agagvi, Доктор физико математического сайенса Игнатов Александр Михайлович, доктор физико математического сайенса Майоров Сергей Алексеевич. Oh, yeah. The leading organization is Federal State Budgetary Institution of Science, Institute of Terrestrial Magnetism, Ionosphere and Radio Wave Propagation, Pushkov, Russian Academy of Sciences. The scientific supervisor Зелёный Лев Матвеевич, доктор физико математического сайенса, Academician of Russian Academy of Sciences, scientific supervisor of the Federal State Budgetary Institution of Science. Space Research Institute in the Russian Academy of Science. Science Consultant Popil Sergei Igorevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Head of the Laboratory of Plasma Dust Processes in the Space Object of the uh, EK Russian Academy of Sciences. So the applicant provided the following documents, the thesis and synopsis published uh, June 21, uh, 21, uh, 2023, Exborn the test report, So also we've got the uh, reviews from the scientific supervisor, Lev Zelony. Also we've got the review of the consultant. Uh, the conclusion of the organization where the approbation was carried out is the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology National Research University. So review number one from uh, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Lysian, uh, the head of the laboratory Diagnostics of Dusty Plasma in the Federal State Budgetary Institution of Science, Joint Institute of High Temperature, Russian Academy of Sciences. The second review from Filipov Anatoly Vasilievich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Scientific Supervisor of Center of Theoretical Physics uh, and Computational Mathematics of the Joint Stock Company, State Scientific Center of the Russian uh, Federation, Trinity, Department of Medic- Magnetic and Optical Measurements. So the master degree uh, diploma from the Mansur University, Arab Republic of Egypt, and the candidate examinations were passed with the marks foreign language excellent, history of philosophy of science good, and physics of the condensed matter is excellent. So the documents were submitted and published on the MIPT website on time and comply with all requirements of the regulations for the award of academic degrees of the candidate science doctor of science at MIPT. So, uh, 
Ati Ibrahim Kasim Kasim was accepted for the defense by the expert, protocol, expert council meeting for the mathematical and physical sciences, the, uh, number FM 2023 slash 11, dated of the um, 13th June uh, 2022. 23, I suppose. So uh, the website contains written opinions of the con of the con members of the dissertation council. Uh, so the conclusion prepared from uh, Norman Henry Garvich, the ch chairman of the dissertation council, doctor of physical and mathematical sciences, professor head of the international laboratory for supercomputer atomic atomistic modeling and multi-scale analysis, National Research University, Higher School of Economics. The conclusion from Vasiliev Mikhail Nikolaevich, Doctor of Technical Sciences, Professor, Professor of Department of Physical Mechanics uh, of the uh, MIPT. The conclusion from Gavrikov Andrei Vadimich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Deputy Director for Research, um, Joint Institute for High Temperature, Russian Academy of Sciences. Conclusion Hussein Zadan Amik Hussein Naga Agui, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor, Chief Researcher of the theoretical department of the Federal State Budgetary Institution of Science Federal Research Center, Institute of General Physics, and of the Prokhor uh, of the Russian Academy of Sciences. So the conclusion prepared by Ignat Alexander Mikhailovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor, Chief Researcher of the theoretical department of the Federal State Budgetary Institution of Science, Institute of General Physics, by uh, Prokhorov of the Russian Academy of Sciences. And the last conclusion prepared by Mayor Sergei Alexeyevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Associate Professor, leading uh, researcher of the laboratory for the study of Coulomb systems of the uh, Joint Institute of uh, for High Temperatures, Russian Academy of Sciences. So this is all for the documents. And uh, we could continue with your speech, please. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, ah, uh, just a moment, please. Уважаемые коллеги, вы можете включить камеры, потому что нам надо, чтобы видеокамеры. Уважаемые члены совета, которые присутствуют дистанционно. Александр Михайлович, мы вас видим. Михаил Николаевич, вы слышите нас? нас заставляют, чтобы вот, в общем, не имея права знаю, продолжать. Знаю. Михаил Николаевич, вы слышите нас? Слышал. Я очень позвоню сейчас. Здесь есть один в деле. Есть, есть, здесь, 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 здесь есть. Вот, в, в деле есть. Вот. Может, у нас не слышит? Без этого нельзя начинать. Он слышит ли нас? Просто, может, связь пропала? Хорошо, спасибо. У него проблема, он работает со случайным компьютером, поэтому могут быть на. Сейчас попробую подключиться. Вот сейчас видим. Вы слышите нас? Да, я вас слышу. Спасибо, спасибо большое. Мы да, давайте продолжать. Я работаю со случайного компьютера, поэтому. Ну, будем надеяться, что. Да, спасибо. Uh, good afternoon. The dissertation under title Wave Processes, Magnetic Fields and the Nonlinear Structure in Dust Plasma in the vicinity of the Moon. Uh, due to the fact that one-fourth of the lunar orbit buffed through the Earth's magnetotail as shown in this uh, 
figures where the magnetic uh, field is are of order 10 minus 5 to 10 minus 4 gauss. Moreover, the moon possesses region of crystal magnetic field is known as a magnetic anomaly regions, uh, where the magnetic field is in this region uh, are of order 10 minus 5 to 10 minus 3 gauss. So the purpose of the dissertation work is to build a developed picture of the influence of magnetic fields on dusty plasma in the vicinity of the moon, including wave processes and the nonlinear structure. And we achieve this through the following objectives. Firstly, describe and model the effect of magnetic fields of the Earth's magnetotail and the lunar magnetic anomalies on the dynamics of a charged dust particle above the moon. Secondary study the trajectories of dust grains above the lunar surface in the case of uh, processes of variation in the charges of dust grains and their oscillation during the lunar day. Thirdly, investigate wave processes of lower hybrid turbulence. Finally, drive and analyze nonlinear uh, equations uh, like the modified cadmus vesvel equation and the modified zaharov kuznetsov equation under the condition of lunar dust plasma. Uh, the dissertation consists of four chapters under the following uh, titles. Where the first chapter uh, includes some review of results obtained early in the field of uh, dust plasma in space and in the vicinity of the moon. Uh, first, I introduce some information about uh, dust plasma and the dust particles, where the dust particles are found in various locations through the solar system. These particles are presented in interplanetary space as well as in the plasma of ionosphere and the magnetosphere of planets. They can also be found in uh, planetary rings and in the vicinity of cosmic body that lack their own atmosphere. In the vicinity of the moon, the main source of lunar uh, dust is the lunar regulus. Where the primary evidence of the presence of dust uh, at the lunar surface have, uh, has been uh, illustrated through the TV images of the lunar horizon after sunset. And at uh, high uh, at heights from three to two hundred sixty kilometers around the moon, the dust particle have been reported also due to the meteoroid impacts. Now, Luna 26 and the Luna 27 mission are being prepared in Russia, where the mission Luna 27 will include experimental research into lunar dust and the dust plasma, both near the lunar surface and at the orbit Luna 26 around around the moon. Unfortunately, for Luna 25. Uh, but uh, Roscosmos was announced that there is a possibility of repeat this mission in 2025 to 2026. The reason for appearance of dust plasma in the vicinity of the moon is the charging of dust particles and uh, lunar uh, surface due to the action of different factors. Above the eliminated side of the moon, the important factor is the solar wind radiation due to the photoelectric effect. The lunar surface and the dust particle occur a positive charge. And the photoelectrons form it here and uh, correspondingly dust plasma. At the dark side of the moon, the important uh, factor is the uh, solar wind electrons, where the lunar surface and the dust particle occur a negative charge. And at high latitude, uh, the dust particles are found due to the meteoroid impact and there are uh, some uh, other effects when the moon is located in the Earth's magnetotail. Uh, for size distribution of regular particles, uh, we use the, self, uh, the Kalmogorov distribution or log normal distribution to describe the size of dust uh, particles. Why the, the reason for why uh, uh, Kalmogorov distribution is formed is that the lunar regular subjected to the action of meteoroids and the multiple crashing of uh, particles are okay. Uh, furthermore, the Kalmogorov distribution formed due to multiple crashing is valid at least for particles with sizes of several dozens of, uh, of nanometers according to uh, the experimental data of Adushkin in 2007. Second chapter to uh, illustrate uh, uh, the influence of uh, the magnetic fields, we develop the self-consistent model, uh, <coughs> and uh, we consider the pho photoelectron, solar wind electrons, and the ions, and the solar radiation, and the, some other effects. However, the following equation describes uh, the dust particle motion 
with some uh, novelty in comparison with previous work. And the second equation uh, for the variation of charged dust particles and the currents given by the following relation. For the first approximation, we <coughs> Uh, in the first approximation, we study the trajectory of dust particles who, uh, and neglecting uh, the magnetic field, where uh, the terms QE and MEG uh, is higher, are higher than the magnetic part of the Lorentz force. And uh, the figure one illustrates the oscillation of the dust particles. And the dust particle reaches this region, there is no oscillation, and the particles are levitated. Uh, above uh, the surface of the moon uh, under the balance between the gravitational force and the electrostatic force. Uh, the second figure illustrates the oscillation of the dust particle without any damping because we don't take into account the variation of charged dust particles. And uh, <coughs> the time of damping uh, of the dust particles depend on the sizes of these uh, dust particles, where the sizes of these dust particles are about 105 nanometers. The time of uh, damping oscillation is less than, the, in case of uh, dust particle, about 68 nanometers. The damping time occur, the damping is occur, but take more time than in the first uh, figure. And we can compare this uh, time with the daytime of the moon, where uh, uh, the daytime of the moon is about uh, uh, one million second. So when this uh, figure illustrates the uh, relation between the damping time of uh, oscillation of the dust particle with its radius, which increasing with decreasing the sizes of the dust particles, and uh, for levitating or lofting dust particles, the dust particle must, uh, must have time to its evolution less than the daytime of the moon. So according to the observation data, uh, data from Colwell in 2007 and the Kalmogorov distribution, we found that uh, about most of the dust particle, about 83% of the dust particles uh, can be treated as levitated. Only very fine dust particles can be uh, considered as lofted. Uh, in this case, under the influence, we solve the, uh, the problem under the influence of uh, the magnetic field, where uh, the magnetic part of the Lorentz force acting in different manner uh, rather than uh, electric field and gravitation, where the electric field and the gravitation uh, influence the vertical motion of the dust particles. So these figures uh, illustrate the transportation of uh, dust particles where for large size the dust particle transport to several uh, degree of latitude but for small particles the dust particle can transport from north to south due to the action of uncompensated horizontal projection of the magnetic part of the Lorentz force. So we conclude uh, this uh, dust plasma above the illuminated side of the moon can exist in the entire range of the lunar latitude. This figure also illustrates the transportation of the dust particles where different curves corresponding to different sizes of the dust particles start from 30 nanometer to 100 nanometer and the different figures according to different moment of separation of dust grain from the lunar surface. For example, curve number one illustrates the transportation of the dust particle from north to south. And this figure also corresponding to the velocity component of dust particle along the lunar surface. For the magnetic field of the magnetic anomalous regions on the moon, uh, the magnetic field is in the in the regions of magnetic anomalies can lead to changes in the trajectory of dust particle, deviating them. But the characteristic dimension of the region of magnetic anomalies are only a few tens of kilometer. Uh, so the general direction, the movement of dust particle is safe. This doesn't lead to new qualitative effect. Uh, third chapter. Due to the result of chapter 2 that the dust plasma can exist uh, uh, in the whole range of the lunar latitude, so we study the possibility of generation of waves that can exist in dust plasma uh, at the moon in the presence of the magnetic field. Uh, 
where the important kind of waves uh, is the lower hybrid wave. And under the conditions that the frequency between the zero frequency of ions and electrons corresponding to lower hybrid wave, we obtain this dispersion relation and the solution of this dispersion relation. And we can determine also the growth rate of lower hybrid wave by this formula and the corresponding instability growth time which equal to 30 seconds according to dust plasma parameter. This time is less than the time during which the moon dust plasma interact with the magnetosphere. So the lower hybrid turbulence can be generated wherever the Earth's magneto tail interacts with the near surface dust plasma at the moon. Uh, to determine the saturation uh, <coughs> of the lower hybrid turbulence, we have taken into account the nonlinear process and we finally obtained the effective collision frequency and the electric field arising in this system, where the amplitude of this electric field is uh, about uh, 0 0.1 volt per meter. This value is uh, small but uh, can enhance means the electric field pattern above the lunar surface because the electric field arising due, due to the interaction of solar radiation with the lunar surface decreases with increasing altitude. Fourth chapter divided to, uh, into two sections. In the first section, we derive and analyze the modified Kermode uh, speed Vashvili equation under the condition of lunar dust plasma, and the second section for uh, derive and analyze the modified Zakharov Kuznetsov equation. Under the conditions that uh, the zero frequency of the dust particle is uh, smaller than the dust acoustic wave, so the dust plasma above the eliminated side of the moon described by the following mathematical model, where this equation related to the positive dust particles and the photoelectrons uh, are described by Gervais formula. And after uh, linear approximation, we obtained this linear dispersion law and for nonlinear analysis, by using the standard method of perturbation theory, we obtained the modified kadmotsev with vashvili equation, which is derived from ordinary kadmotsev with vashvili uh, equation through the nonlinear term, which have the square root of phi. And we can obtain the soluton solution of this equation under the uh, parameter, uh, dust plasma parameter above the eliminated side of the moon, we can show the variation of the soluton solution with different height above uh, the surface of the moon. And also we can study the stability of soluton solution by assuming a small perturbation, where, uh, and we obtained this equation in delta phi, and uh, by assuming that delta phi equal psi of psi multiplied by exponential function, we obtained this equation in epsi, and after expansion epsi function, we have uh, these three equations, and after some steps, we finally obtained this dispersion relation, which is always uh, larger than zero, so the dust acoustic solitary waves in this case is steep. In the second case, where uh, uh, when the frequencies of dust acoustic wave doesn't exceed the zero frequency of the dust particle, that was a mathematical model uh, describing by uh, these equations and uh, the photoelectrons also described by Gervais formula and uh, uh, we obtained this uh, dispersion law after linear approximation and the four nonlinear analysis we obtained the modified zakharov kuznetsov equation and we, to obtain the soluton solution of this equation we introduced the new angle between the z direction and the magnetic field and we obtained this new coordinate, substituting this new coordinate in the last equation. We have this equation where gamma 1, gamma 2, 2, gamma 8, given by this uh, relation, and obtained finally the soluton solution, where this uh, term related to the amplitude of the soluton solution, and uh, in this figure illustrates the variation of the soluton solution with different height above the surface of the moon. And we can study the stability of this soluton solution by assuming a small perturbation delta phi to finally obtain this dispersion relation. In this dispersion relation, uh, there are the square root of omega square minus lambda. In case of lambda, uh, omega square is uh, larger than lambda, this uh, term is real. 
and uh, <coughs> and the solution solution in this case is stable. Otherwise, when lambda is larger than omega square, uh, there are an imaginary part, and uh, the instability growth rate in this case is determined. Conclusion: the influence of magnetic fields of both uh, Earth's magnetotail and the lunar uh, magnetic anomaly on the transportation of uh, lunar dust and the formation of dusty plasma above the moon has been performed. Uh, dust plasma above uh, sunlight part of the moon can exist in the entire range of the lunar latitude. Dust grains transport from the region of high lunar latitude toward the equator of the moon has been demonstrated to be due to the uncompensated magnetic part of the Lorentz uh, force, which is due to the magnetic field of the Earth's magnetotail. It provides a new qualitative effect that doesn't exist in the absence of the magnetic field. Due to the exist, uh, existing localization of the region of magnetic anomalies, this uh, region can lead only to some changes in uh, dust grain trajectory, deflecting them, but the general trend of the motion of dust grains remains the same. The investigation of dust grain trajectory above the lunar surface has shown that the processes of variation in the charge of dust grain leading to the attenuation of their oscillation over the lunar surface are too fast in comparison with day duration on the moon. In this connection, most of the dust particles can be considered as levitated and only verifying dust particles can be treated as lofted. The growth rate uh, characterizing the excitation flow or hybrid turbulence have been found and the lower hybrid turbulence can be generated wherever the Earth's magnetotail interacts with the near surface dust plasma at the moon. In the application uh, to the lunar dust plasma, nonlinear equation like modified uh, kadmotsev bedvazvili equation and the modified zaharov kuznetsov equation uh, have, be, have uh, derived and analyzed. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, please, the questions about the report. Okay, so if we have no questions, then we could uh, proceed to the questions from the reviews. Yeah, and some remarks, some critical remarks. So, and members of the uh, dissertation council, they, you could uh, answer it by yourself, or I just can read them from the, from your reviews. Okay. Maybe yes. Uh, is able to. Uh, you know, you know all the comments. Yeah. Maybe you have prepared some answers. Yeah, I think he already prepared, but I yeah. should read them to the to the cameras. So. so in this dissertation from the review from Norman Henry Garvich, uh, the remarks. So, uh, in this dissertation, Atya Ibrahim Kasem Kasem does not provide experimental evidence of the importance of any of his results concerning in the influence of the magnetic fields on the properties of dusty plasmas above the lunar surface. Furthermore, he does not describe in detail the experiments on dust and dusty plasmas that will be carried out as part of the Luna 25 and Luna 27 missions. In this regard, it is not, it is not clear whether uh, it will be possible to reveal dusty plasma effects associated with the magnetic fields and the experiments. It would be reasonable to formulate experiments which can be carried out to show the importance of the influence of the magnetic fields on the properties of dusty plasmas above the moon. So please, your answer. Okay. As it was announced by Roscosmos, there is a possibility of repeat uh, in 2025 to 2026 of a mission similar to Luna 25 to land a spacecraft on the south pole of the moon. As uh, for Luna 27 lander, it will contain in particular electric field sensor, uh, as shown in this figure. Uh, they are uh, constructed by analogy with Langemir probe. Consequently, it will be possible to measure with the aid of this uh, electrostatic sensor the electron density variation and the frequency of this variation and the two rate with this uh, variation waves in plasma, in particular lower hybrid waves, which uh, exist only in the presence of the magnetic field. <coughs> and uh, the equipment of, uh, say, Luna 27 mission will allow the researcher to reveal dust plasma effects associated with the magnetic fields in the experiment. In general, my dissertation is theoretical one, 
and then this uh, connection must attention uh, be to not be to experiment. So, are you okay? okay. So, uh, from the review from Vasiliev Mikhail Nikolaevich. One of the conclusions of chapter 2 is the existence of close or charged dust particles in the meridian direction uh, relative to the surface of the moon. See conclusion 1 of the dissertation. In chapter 3, the movement of uh, dusty plasma relative to the, dust, uh, to the plasma of the Earth, magnetic uh, to tail uh, is associated with the instability, which leads to the excitation of lower hybrid waves. The applicant does not consider flow instabilities associated with the existence uh, of flows of charged dust particles in the meridian direction. Uh, such consideration would uh, essentially complement the section devoted to uh, the study of waves in the dissertation and would serve as an important element uh, linking uh, chapter 2 and chapter 3, 4 of the dissertation. Unfortunately, the applicant does not present the, this consideration in the dissertation. So please. Okay, I agree. Consideration of uh, flow instability instability is associated with the existence of flow of charged dust particles in the meridian direction is a problem for uh, the future. But I remain that uh, the accent in the dissertation was made to finding the situation when uh, the influence of magnetic field on uh, lunar dust plasma is important. And I have presented in the dissertation all my results which are related to the influence of the magnetic fields. Okay. So, remarks from the uh, Gavrikov Andrei Vladimirovich. The first one is, in his analysis, Satya Ibrahim Kasim Kasim uses the uh, long normal theoretical dis distribution, see figure one, uh, 2.1. Describing the sizes of the regular grains on the lunar surfaces, which, as he mentioned, was obtained the eight of the data from the six to one um, the reference. Uh, however, the experimental data in this reference were obtained only for the grain sizes exceeding uh, 20 micrometers, uh, while in figure 2.1 contains the part corresponding to smaller particles. Furthermore, in chapter 2, um, the applicant considered the grain smaller than one micrometer and used them for the uh, long normal, uh, long normal uh, theoretical distribution given in figure 2.1. But they extrapolated down to dust grain sizes of order of the uh, 0 0.01 micrometers, see page uh, 53 of the dissertation. Unfortunately, he does not present the explanation uh, in the situation considered in the log normal theoretical distribution uh, for the grain sizes smaller than uh, 20 micrometers. Okay. So, uh -huh. uh, a possibility of use uh, of uh, log normal distribution or Kalmogorov distribution describing the sizes of uh, regular grain on uh, the lunar surface was shown uh, in the paper of uh, Bobel in 2013. In this paper, it was shown that the data presented by Col uh, Colwell et al. in 2007 for the lunar uh, surface dust particle sizes ranges from 20 to 500 uh, micrometer allow uh, plotting the dissertation of surface dust particles that agrees well with the uh, Kalmogorov distribution that uh, characterizes the particle size distribution in the case of uh, repeated fragmentation. This fact confirmed the, the conclusion of uh, Colwell in 2007 that the moon is covered by a regulus uh, that undergoes repeated fragmentation due to the meteoroid impacts in the course of its evolution. Uh, no, uh, no for uh, Adoshkin in 2007 showed that the Kalmogorov distribution in the case of repeated fragmentation remains if, uh, valid for particle uh, diameter that exceed or uh, were of order several dozens of nanometer, where a significant part of uh, smaller particles was formed as a result of crashing of uh, large particle during the second and the third explosion. Uh, this allows us to extend the surface uh, dust particle distribution that is based on the data presented by Colwell in 2007, uh, down to sizes of several dozens of nanometer. Uh, remark number two, uh, chapter three of the dissertation is devoted to the theoretical description of lower hybrid turbulence which can be excited in dusty plasmas above the lunar surface. 
The drawback of the description in the, is the absence of the, some discussion of experimental methods of observation of lower hybrid turbulence above the moon. So could you please this is answer the... yeah, about the turbulence? Okay. Uh, for Gaffrey of that? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, I have replied the uh, analogy comments forward by Professor uh, Gurney Norman in connection with the comment of Professor Andre Gafrekap. I would like to mention that uh, unfortunately for uh, Luna 25 mission, uh, it was finished, but as it was announced by Roscosmos, there is a possibility of repeat this mission in uh, 2025 to 2026 of uh, a mission uh, similar to Luna 25 to land a spacecraft on the south pole of the moon as for this mission uh, and the Luna 27 mission. The lander uh, will contain in particular electric field sensors they are constructed by analogy with Langemir Baroque, consequently it will be possible to measure with the aid of this electrostatic sensor the electron density variation and the frequency of this variation and uh, to relate with this uh, variation waves in plasma, in particular lower hybrid waves, which exist only in the presence of the magnetic field. In chapter 4, Atei Ibrahim Kasim Kasim considers in particular the situation of uh, an almost one-dimensional wave pocket in which localization along the magnetic field vector is much stronger than in other directions. It is not clear whether this magnetic field originates from Earth magnetosphere or from regions of lunar magnetic anomalies. Uh, if this is magnetic field of Earth's magnetosphere, then the distribution of magnetospheric electrons could be the Hence, Tsasiris distribution. So, uh, Ate Ibrahim Kasim Kasim uses Gurevich formula for the distribution of electrons and uh, does not take into account Hence, Tsalis uh, distribution. This should be clarified and justified. Uh, the magnetosphere electrons, which uh -huh. could be carrying the Tsalis uh, distribution, don't have a small number of densities. The typical number density of the magnetosphere electrons is smaller than one per uh, cubic centimeter. The number uh, density of photoelectrons is much higher, which is of order uh, 10 power 5 uh, per cubic centimeter. This is uh, a reason why the magnetosphere electrons were not taken into account in chapter 4. And uh, as uh, it was shown in the dissertation in chapter 4, the photoelectron satisfies Gervais' uh, distribution due to the adiabatic caption of uh, potential well formed by the dust acoustic soliton, and the Gervais formula for the dissertation of electrons was used in chapter 4 while carrying the distribution was not taken into account. Okay. So the remarks from Hussein Zadin and Nick Hussein Agarwi. Uh, the first one is uh, the section 2.3. Aika Sim considers the damping of uh, oscillation of dust particles moving about the luminous surface. Using several examples based on numerical calculations, he showed that the damping of the oscillations is associated with varying charges of the dust particles. However, Aika Sim does not consider theoretical value of characteristic time uh, of dust particle uh, charge variations. It would be reasonable to compare this time with the time uh, TD0 given in figure uh, 2.5. This would allow the author to confirm theoretically the conclusions of the author that uh, the possesses of variation in the charges, charges uh, of dust grains lead to the attenuation of their oscillations over the lunar surface. So. Uh, so the theoretical value of characteristic time of dust grain variation was considered within uh, the linear model presented in the paper of uh, Popel and Okolov in 2022. In this paper, the time was compared with the time TD node. It was showing that the for sufficiently large dust particle radius uh, around 0.1 micrometer, the typical dust particle sizes when uh, dust is can levitate above uh, the moon, the characteristic time of dust grain variation and the time TG node are sufficiently uh, close to each other, and the particles with these sizes 
undergo oscillation associated with anomalous uh, dissipation in the dust plasma caused by charging of dust particles. Okay. In chapters 3-4 uh, devoted uh, to investigation of waves in the vicinity of the moon. However, like I said, that do not present the description of some observations uh, in the vicinity of the moon related to plasma waves. For example, uh, when spacecraft passed through the, uh, the wake of moon in December 1994 and observed different types of plasma waves, such as uh, the high frequency electromagnetic waves, Langmuir waves, uh, electromagnetic noise, and also the, uh, the reference is here presented. And the possibly Whistler wave, so also with the reference uh, to the article. Uh, the magnetometer on board lunar prospector observed monochromatic circular polarized low frequency waves in the frequency range uh, 0.44 Hz uh, in the lunar vicinity and likely to be either upstream with Whistler waves uh, produced at shock surface above lunar crystal, uh, crystal magnetic source or phase tending Whistlers generated by direct solar wind interactions with the lunar crystal magnetic fields, also with the reference here. Uh, the Whistler waves were observed by uh, Kaguya in the sunlight side of moon, irrespective of the local lunar magnetic anomalies. Uh, at uh, an altitude of uh, 100 kilometers above the lunar surface, also with the reference. Uh, when moon rays in frequency range um, 10 to 20 kilohertz were also observed few times by instrument on board Kagura near lunar wake boundary. Also the reference here. Uh, low frequency ion cyclotron waves arising due to the ion temperature and isotropy uh, in frequency range uh, 0.04, uh, 0.17 hertz were observed at the lunar surface by the lunar surface magnetometers placed on the Apollo 15 and 16 when the moon was in the Earth's uh, magnetic tail. So also with reference. Could you please uh, comment? Yes, yeah. and, uh, question number three also. Okay, and the number three. Uh, so the lunar prospector absorbed uh, energetic electrons uh, from the solar wind interacting with lunar magnetic anomalies. A mechanism was uh, proposed in which the collisionless bow shock gets formed with the reflex the solar wind ions. The reflected or deflected ions either contributed in the uh, content streaming population or form a ring distribution in the velocity space. Uh, both these scenarios result in plasma turbulence generation with lower hybrid waves uh, which uh, accelerate electrons uh, along the magnetic field through the uh, wave particle resonance, also with the reference here. Chapter 3 of the uh, by ICASIM is devoted to the investigation of lower hybrid waves. However, the analysis of the effects described by Birkham is not carried out. So, please. Okay, the answer of the second and the third question. I agree, but uh, I would like to note that the number of above results on the plasma waves near the moon related to studies of the Earth's magnetosphere at large distance from the moon. For example, when the spacecraft data is obtained at a distance of about 66.8 lunar radius for, uh, from the moon. And uh, in addition, all the results given in the review concerning the wave in plasma doesn't uh, take into account uh, the dust. Whereas the dissertation work is devoted to uh, the study of dust plasma and uh, to uh, identification of situation in which charged dust has a significant effect on the processes occurring near the lunar surface. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Uh, so, there is no objections or critical remarks in the uh, reviews from Ignatov Alexander Mikhailovich, Mayorov Sergei Alexeyevich, and Lysin Yevgeny Alexandrovich, and Filipov Anatoly Vasilyevich. But we have some remarks from the leading organization. The leading organization is, uh, yes, uh, is Miran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the first one, the use uh, of the cold ion approximation for the variation of the dispersion relation uh, for the lower hybrid waves 
the third term in the equation uh, 3.4, chapter 3, equation 12 in the synopsis, is difficult to justify. Unstable waves have phase speeds close to uh, 1 km per second, while magnetospheric ions have thermal velocities of the order of uh, 10, 100 km per second. So. In fact, uh, the phase velocity of unstable wave omega over k, as shown in the dissertation, is of order of the particle velocity velocity of the magneto tail plasma relative to the circum lunar dust plasma. Accordingly, this velocity can significantly exceed one uh, kilometer per second. The energy of plasma particles in the flow can reach tens and hundreds of uh, kiloelectron volts. This is the flux velocity of ions exceeds uh, often uh, the thermal velocity of ions in the magneto tail corresponding to an ion temperature of 10 to 100 electron volt. Mm -hmm. So uh, the second one is uh, the lack of details in the uh, derivation of the modified Kadamtsev, Petriashvili, and Zaharov Kuznetsov equations, the chapter 4. Uh, while linear terms can be easily understood from the corresponding dispersion relations, the calculation of nonlinear terms is not straightforward. Uh, I agree with this comment, but we use a standard uh, technique uh, typical to uh, that used in the revision of uh, the equation, Kadmotsev Bedvazvili equation and the Harov Kuznetsov equation. And the degree of uh, details uh, in the derivation of the uh, of the dissertation uh, of the corresponding nonlinear terms in the dissertation is no less than the, in the publication of other author containing in the derivation usual the modified Kadmotsev with Pazwil equation and the Zakhar of Kuznetsov equation. Okay, so we finish with the remarks from the reviews. Maybe some additional questions. Colleagues, have you? So now, we <laughs> so now we proceed to the, uh, the scientific advisor, uh, review of scientific advisor, please. So actually, I am a scientific consultant. Yes. Scientific okay. advisor, if it's absent, uh, uh, scientific advisor is a professor. Please come here because he wants to. It's better to the, uh, be there or uh, well, be bit, a little bit closer, yeah. Okay. Uh, scientific advisor is Professor Lev Zelene. He is in Minsk now. Unfortunately, he cannot participate with him because he has uh, some important meeting there. And um, but uh, actually, uh, as far as I know, he uh, intended to participate, but this uh, meeting prevented uh, this possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, as for me, for first of all, I would like to express my thanks to the members of the dissertation committee, uh, because uh, I know uh, as uh, they uh, are busy, and uh, nevertheless they found the time to participate in the thesis defense, so uh, but uh, uh, very grateful to them uh, for, the, uh, for, for this. As for the dissertant, actually, uh, dissertant um, uh, started to work with Professor Lev Zelone and me only four years ago when he uh, entered the uh, postgraduate courses of the uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, and thus we have worked with him only four years. Uh, nevertheless, uh, he had a rather good experience, uh, but he mainly studied uh, nonlinear waves uh, like those presented in uh, Chapter 4. Uh, the material presented in Chapter 4 was performed specially for the dissertation, but nevertheless some analogous uh, investigations were carried out by the dissertant earlier. Uh, and uh, he was rather successful, and for example, I see his uh, list of uh, publications, and uh, there is one publication with, uh, which has more uh, um, citations than, uh, for example, following for this publication to our papers with uh, dissertant. Uh, thus he had uh, significant experience, that, thus he could uh, start his scientific activity with us rather successfully and 
actually, uh, the, the material presented in chapters two and three uh, was completely new for him, but nevertheless he um, solved the corresponding problems with success. And uh, we uh, are satisfied with the collaboration with uh, Atia. Uh, so um, I think that uh, these four years were successful for him and uh, hopefully uh, he successfully finished his uh, presence in Russia. And as far as I know, uh, some job waits for him in Egypt. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, I have to mention that he uh, contributed much in uh, the organization, uh, in the work of the organization committee during the ninth uh, International Conference on Physics of Dusty Plasmas, which was carried out last year in Moscow. Uh, so uh, some significant work was performed uh, by him also, and this also characterized uh, characterizes him from the uh, good side. Uh, so I hope that uh, um, his activity here will be successful. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. So in the responses received, it was noted that the comments do not diminish the scientific and practical value of the work and do not question the results obtained. Since all the old receives, uh, reviews are positive and all questions were announced earlier, with the permission of the members of the Dissertation Council, Council, I will read, uh, read out the conclusions reflected in the reviews. So the conclusion of the organization where the approbation was carried out is the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, National Research University. So the review was signed by the PhD deputy head of the Space Physics Departments, in the department of MIPT, uh, Sadowski Andrei Mikhailovich, approved by the uh, vice rector for scientific work, MIPT, Bagan Vitaly Anatolich. The dissertation uh, wave uh, processes magnetic fields and nonlinear structure in the dusty plasma in the vicinity of the moon by Ati Ibrahim Kasem Kasem is an independently completed research work and is recommended for the defense for the degree of candidate physical and mathematical sciences in the research area. One point. 3.9 Physics of Plasma. Uh, the review from the leading organization, Federal State Budget Institution of Science, Institute of Terrestrial Magnetism, Ionosphere, and Radio Wave Propagation, Pushkov, Russian Academy of Sciences. The review signed by the main scientists of the Astrophysical Research Laboratory of Izmiran, uh, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Science, uh, uh, Zirakashvili Vladimir Nikolaevich. And approved by the director of Izmiran, Doctor of Theoretical Sciences, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Kuznetsov Vladimir Dmitrievich. Uh, the dissertation optical properties. Uh, I'm sorry, this is. Yeah, uh, this is from, the, <laughs> from other candidate. So, the, all the reviews are positive, so uh, that's why we can conclude that uh, Ati Ibrahim Kasim Kasim is. Uh, recommended for the defense for degree of candidate of physical mathematical sciences in the research area uh, 1.3.9 physics of plasma. So, any additional questions and the discussion? Yeah. Dear colleagues, <coughs> now the report is open to discussion. <coughs> Have you any additional comments? You agree? No, good for no comments. Well, so in this case, I would add some remarks. I'm subscribed to some news in the internet. And recently, I was really pleased when I noticed sorry, that the paper published by Sergei Popel Golubch, Kasem, and Lev Zilioni in the American Journal of Physics of Plasmas in the recent, in the previous year. It was marked as one of the most cited papers of this journal in 2022. So, my congratulations to Kasem, my congratulations. 
<laughs> and I received that, uh, this news first. Oh, then Sergei received this news. So we confirm that it is, it is true. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it is an additional argument to vote positively for this thesis. Hmm? Yes. Oh, yeah. I have a uh, little questions uh, to this beautiful picture. Uh, what is about the value of magnetic field on this point near near rest uh, on uh, surface? The value in Gauss. Uh, about uh, approximately ten. For the lunar surface, from 10 minus uh, 5 to 10 minus 3 Gauss. Ah, and in this case, what is about the so called electric uh, drift uh, A divided B? Uh, if B is very small, the electric field will be uh, very great. Uh, the, the, uh, in this case, uh, from uh, localization of uh, the magnetic uh, regions of magnetic anomalies over the moon so this uh, force uh, related to the magnetic field uh, only transport the dust particles uh, because uh, this is uncompensated magnetic uh, force mm -hmm. uh, but for uh, the electric field and the gravitational influence is a vertical uh, motion of the dust particle mm -hmm. Thank you very much for a good answer. It's clear. Okay. So now we proceed to the final words by the applicant. Okay. Firstly, I would like uh, to express a special uh, thanks to all members of the dissertation council who gave me the opportunity to present my work today. Thank you. Furthermore, I would like to thank my scientific uh, supervisor, Professor. Uh, Ziloni for his support and encouragement uh, throughout this uh, work. I would like also to express my deep appreciation to my scientific uh, consultant, Professor Sergei Bobin, for directing my PhD studies and for all of his time spent with me over uh, the last four years, including uh, motivation and the extensive scientific advice to improve my work. Uh, many thanks to my uh, other co-author and uh, my scientific group and uh, my colleagues at uh, Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology and uh, this research institute. And I acknowledge the Ministry of Higher Education and the Scientific Research of Egypt and the Russian Government Scholarship for uh, their support uh, during my PhD work. And I wish to thank my family for uh, their continuous support throughout my life. And my special thank is to my wife and my daughter, Ruben. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we finished and we should proceed to the, uh, the election procedure. So we need to elect three uh, members of the Counting Commission and the, uh, the chairman of the Counting Commission. So any suggestions? But we have no such a big choice here. So... Uh, and I should write Alex it down. Sergei and Andrei. Yes, who will be the chairman of the accounting committee? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, председатель, это просто огласить, так сказать, результат работы счетной комиссии. So please, uh, the applicant and the guests, please go uh, outside and we will start the, uh, the voting process. Сейчас, сейчас, подождите, пока это, я, мне надо его... Мы надо там нажать кнопку, чтобы голосование затащено. А как... А где ты Да, 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 да. Ты можешь 
А где? Да, да ничего нет. Нет, нет, его... Да, еще раз. Остановите демонстрацию. Это в открытую комнату. Так. Где его документы? Письме на письме. Сейчас запустим. Я письме нашел. Жалко. А дата какая письма? Какой-то пароль сейчас меня требует. Пароль там, да, какой-то при регистрации, но если вы его не помните, его можно сбросить и... Не ну, знаю. тогда я компьютер открою свой, то, что... Да. Ну, лучше, да, наверное. Сейчас мы начнем этим заниматься. Потому что тут... С бумагами было быстрее, а вот с этим электронным все как-то... Да нет, с бумагами, если теряется этот листочек, то это лучше. Я можно попросить сбросить пароль? Я его не вижу. А у вас там есть кнопка... То есть это у вас сам должно быть на Сейчас. Войти под моим собственным пароль имеется в виду, да? Да, да, да. То есть вот ваш вот логин. Так, уже там можно говорить? Сейчас нет еще. Что хочется нажать какую-то кнопку там? Сейчас. Так, как найти приложение, которое есть же какой-то поиск. Все, увидел. Он назывался приглашение. Нет, нет. Это... Голосование защита. Вот письмо. А, Заходишь ну, давай... письмо. Заходишь... А какое число? От 18 сентября. От 18 сентября. 19, 18. Все, голосование пошло. Нету. Коллеги, голосование пошло. Если вы зашли в его, можно голосовать уже. Точно 18. Так. Нету. Заполню. Мне написано, что мы будем Я уже Ага, спасибо. Это входящее, да, вот это. Я тоже. Ну, я не кого-то поставил дальше, что он делает. Там что-то отправить или отправить. У меня просто всплывали и все равно закрывало. Да, ну как-то странно сделано. Все. Спасибо, ваш голос учтем. А вот, да, Vivoot сервис. Перейти, перейти на Vivoot. Сейчас мы вообще будем войти. Пароль просит. Господи. А, сохраненный пароль. Все. Где что же? А, вот, стоп, стоп, стоп. Потом вижу. Он, он меня опознал. И все. И все. Ну, да. Это пароль приходится, да? Да, ну, там, вы его зайти, создавали. Да, ну, Какой-то. Такие силы не просили туда всякие, чтобы не вставлять. Да, чтобы очень вообще... <смех> неудобно. <смех> Многие его забывают, и потом начинается. Нам же тогда обижаться, правда? Кроме нас, да. Так, ладно. Мой заказ. Ломая. Курабель. Заказ. Так, надо... Расписаться будет здесь, вот, в члену счетной комиссии. Да, причем настойчиво. Подпись расшифровывается. Да, супер, ноутбук прикупил. Да еще со скидкой чудовищно. Да, Сергей Николаевич, тут надо. Значит, вот. Подпись расшифровка на члена счетной комиссии и. Пишите себя председателем. Что я думаю? Подпись расшифровка, да. Не, не, ты первый должен. Нет. Так, а я вас писал, председателем. Я же первый сказал, я А я это. Это я слушался. Тут еще, может, придется исправить, так что. И так суду начали. Вот он отдохнем, да? Мой голос учтен уже. Сейчас я посмотрю.
Так, проголосовало 5. Кто-то не проголосовал. Я проголосовал, да? А тут вот не знаю, понять можно. Саша, а ты проголосовал? Вниз вы сделали там зеленую кнопочку нажали. Я проголосовал. Да. Подумал. Саша, там а, у нет, Лены завтра день рождения. Все. Если Значит, я, 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 а я забуду, ты поздравь, скажи, что я первый. А, ваш год, что-то он еще пока желтеньким помечен. Сейчас, наверное, обновится и успокоится. Мне система выдает, что я проголосовал. Ну, на компьютере приятно то, что мой пароль просто он запомнил. Угу. А на телефоне нет ничего. Так, не хочет пока. А кто не голосовал еще? Да, да вот вы, Генри Гарчин, у вас голос что-то пишет, что вы еще... А посмотрите. Сейчас я... Генри Гарчин уже поблагодарили. А туда еще не пролезли. Может, давайте обновим страницу. Там пароль опять надо. Может быть, у вас он пароль чужой пароль У нас однажды было, что я могу проголосовал. Ну, мне даже письмо. Было однажды так, проголосовало 5. Из 4. Все, все, короче, недействительных нет. За 4, а остальное где-то потерялся. Все. Так, вроде теперь. Я все. посмотрю, могу переголосовать. Не-не, все готово. Все можно уже лучше. Уже, наверное. В каком смысле? Пришел мой голос. Да. Так, Игорь, выведите там на экран, пожалуйста. Тут написано, участников 6, проголосовало 6. Ну, да, все, а все, все нормально. Сейчас, сейчас, Ты уже уменьшился, да. Смотри, картинка там на изображении, примерно минуту задержки. Да, задержка. Три минуты? Нет, несколько секунд. Тут, там... не минуты, секунды, в смысле, так. четко совершенно. Вот видишь, я руку поднял. Вот, я все протестировал. Так. Очень забавно. Вот правая. Шесть. То есть это зеркало. Два. Ну, а я себе думал, что ну, ну, это самое уголковое ну, зеркало, и оно правильно руку поднимаешь и правильно поднимаешь. Так, все. Так, значит, так. это вот просто можно своими словами как гласить, ну, что вот будет. Сейчас пригласим. Так, так надо, что я не могу. Завершаю. Я сожалеюсь, поэтому я тебе не могу сдать. Я пожалуйста. А сейчас надо будет как за, проголосовать за, за, поднятием рук за утверждение за э, протокола за работы Вутин счетной из, комиссии. И за еще один момент, из, еще раз голосовать за, за э, проект заключения. Вот, то есть два еще голосования, но это поднятием рук. Прошу, пожалуйста, внимание. Значит, ну, первое, значит, состав комиссии Кучини за Динами, Кучини на Гаврилы, председатель Гавриков Андрей Владимирович и майор Сергей э, Алексеевич. Почему я не так написал? Ну, да, Алексеевич. Ага, да. <laughs> Алексеевич. Виноват. Да, так. А, значит, э, члены счетной, э, счетной комиссии. Итак, э, было воздано 6 бюллетеней. В том числе удаленных участников заседания 2 человека, не раздано 0. Результаты голосования 6 за, против 0, воздержалось 0. Недействительных 0. Прошу утвердить протокол. Коллеги, голосуем за результат протокола. Утверждение результатов Спасибо рабочей это. комиссии. Спасибо. Спасибо. Проект заключения был разослан ранее. Вы могли с ним ознакомиться. Предлагается Спасибо. проголосовать за проект заключения, а если есть замечания, то в рабочем порядке их получить. У меня замечаний не было, я смотрел. So please vote for the, uh, the project а of the... А это, это, а это в открытой это комнате, что Михаил... это что другое. Никол... А, нет. Это кто-то слушал, соответственно. Да. Украшение. Uh, да. За это проект это... заключения Сонного Совета. Спасибо. Ну, Геннадий Гарч, тогда все, в принципе, заключительно. Все, тогда надо поздравить, да. Excuse me. What is your first name? Atiyah. Atiyah. Ah, this is my name. My family, Kasim. Kasim. Ah, Kasim is his family. First name, 
Atiyah. Atiyah. Yeah. So, dear Atiyah, I would like to congratulate you okay. with a very successful defense. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, I would hope, as far as I know, you plan to return to Egypt. Yeah. Yes. Best travel to Egypt, certainly. Okay. Uh, Egypt uh, will be a member of BRICS. Yeah. Yes. So now we are in this. Cairo. 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 Well, and I would hope mm -hmm. that you will never forget your cooperation with Sergei, yeah. who is here, and with Lev, who is absent, he is in Minsk now. Mm -hmm. So remember them. Uh, sure, I would. And remember them Very and uh, save, retain your gratitude to them. Yeah. So, and best wishes in your further career. Thank you so much. Oh, so, yeah, thank you. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.